Today I'm here in Wendell, North Carolina, one of my favorite towns in eastern Wake County. If you're considering a move to the Raleigh area, you don't want to miss this because I'm about to do a deep dive into the top three new home communities in Wendell, North Carolina, and we're about to get started right now. Guys, I'm Mike Sanders with Mike Sanders Team Realty at Remax United. I'm a local real estate agent here in the Raleigh, Wendell, North Carolina area. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and the bell to be notified the moment I have a new video out. Okay guys, Wendell, North Carolina is located within Wake County, North Carolina. Wake County consists of the city of Raleigh, which is the state capital, and 12 municipalities that encircle Raleigh, one of which being the town of Wendell which is located just a quick 20 to 25 minute drive east along US 264, which is the major artery leading from Wendell straight into downtown Raleigh. Wendell is a small, charming town with a population of just under 9,000 residents. It's a somewhat rural Wake County community that used to be known for farming and tobacco crops. It's now a fantastic growing community in which to live, especially if you want a home with space to spread out without spending your great grandkids college money on a home. If you're looking for tons of hustle and bustle, a lot of nightlife, this probably isn't going to be the town that you'll want to consider. However, with that being said, there are numerous up and coming retail options around town and you're literally within 30 minutes of pretty much anything you could ever need. One really nice thing I like about Wendell is the fact that it's still a very small and rural area. But you have so many various options close by, like the new Wendell Falls Master Plan Community, which will pretty much be like a small city within a city. All right, we're starting our tour on the southeast side of Wendell in the new home community of the Grove at Deerfield. Let's go. So here we are at the Grove at Deerfield. We're about two to three minutes south of the downtown Wendell Business District. From here, you're probably about a 20 to 25 minute drive into downtown Raleigh. The Grove is located on a side of Wendell where there is a little bit less development going on right now. You're actually located within an area where there are a couple of more established neighborhoods. The Grove is a pretty moderately priced neighborhood. Most of the home plans out here are going to go for under $275,000. Even though it's moderately priced, each of the floor plans is going to come with granite countertops, tile backsplash. You're gonna get stainless steel appliances. The master suites are pretty large. Uh, they've got garden tubs, uh, two car garages. Most of the homes out here are on about a quarter of an acre. At the present time, there are about 30 lots out here that you can choose from. One of the things that a lot of people like about this neighborhood is the fact that there are no homeowner dues. Okay, let's go check out the neighborhood. The Grove at Deerfield currently consists of approximately 100 homes that have so far been completed. As of the production date of this video, phase four of the community is currently underway with approximately 22 lots remaining in this particular phase. Phase five of the community is currently slated to begin construction in 2022, which calls for an additional 98 home sites to be completed. One feature of note that I wanted to mention is the fact that although the lots within this community are relatively small, coming in on average about a quarter of an acre in size, you'll notice that most of the homes have a fairly decent amount of spacing between them. With most homes in this neighborhood currently selling for around $275,000, at current interest rates, your monthly payment, including taxes and insurance, would be somewhere in the range of $1,400 to $1,500 per month which is quite a bargain when you consider that most apartments in this area are going to run about the same amount, if not quite a bit more. One thing to keep in mind is the fact that a lot of these neighborhoods are located within areas that are eligible for what's called a USDA or United States Department of Agriculture loan program. These loan programs are extremely lucrative in the fact that you can get into a home for little to no money down. Just go to Google or Bing and type in USDA Home Eligibility Map. Here you'll be able to enter in an address and see if it qualifies for one of the USDA Zero Down Loan Programs. Again, there's no homeowner association within the neighborhood. Therefore, there are no playgrounds or swimming pools. 
However, approximately four minutes from this neighborhood, there is a private pool called the Wendell Swim Club. I believe you can get a yearly membership there for around $500, but you can go to the website to find out additional information. As I mentioned earlier, of the three neighborhoods I'm highlighting within this video, the Groves of Deerfield is going to be your most convenient location to downtown Wendell. If you take a quick 15 to 20 minute drive into nearby Nightdale, North Carolina, you'll find the shops at Midway Plantation which contain many of your nationally known retailers like Target, Best Buy, and Dick Sporting Goods. In Nightdale you'll also find many of the nationally known restaurant chains. In the nearby town of Zebulon you'll also find quite a few restaurant and shopping options. Okay, here we are at the Goodwin Chase community, which is also located south of the downtown Wendell Business District. If you're looking for more of a rural feel and you're searching for a location that's quiet and somewhat off the beaten path, this would be a really good neighborhood to consider. Of the three neighborhoods I'm highlighting today, this has the most rural feel, like the Grove at Deerfield. You're on a side of town opposite where most of the current development in Wendell is taking place. Once you drive anywhere south of this neighborhood, you're going to be mostly in pretty much rural farmland and open spaces. Probably the one thing I like the most about Goodwin Chase is the location. You're kind of in an area that's midway between Raleigh and Clayton. The Flowers Plantation development is only about maybe 10 to 15 minutes from here. Over there, you're going to have tons of shopping, dining, entertainment options. They're actually putting in one of the area's first Publix grocery stores located in this part of the county. They're definitely going to be bringing quite a few more uh, development activity out this way. Okay, let's go take a quick driving tour of Goodwin Chase and check out some of the new homes. Of the three neighborhoods I'm highlighting within this video, Goodwin Chase is the only one which is not located within Wake County. It's actually located in Johnston County. Being in Johnston County, your tax rate here is going to be slightly less than that of Wake County. In addition, due to the fact that you're outside of the city limits of Wendell, there are no city property taxes, which on a $300,000 home, this is going to save you around $1,500 per year. There are several things which I really like about this neighborhood. One of the main things I like is the fact that the homes are on really large lots. Typical lot sizes within this community run anywhere between seven tenths of an acre all the way up to well over one acre in size. This is really nice due to the fact that the homes are spaced at a very nice distance from one another. The other thing I really like about the neighborhood is the fact that you have trees. Because most of the homes are on these really large lots, and the fact you have actual trees, you really feel like you have a sense of privacy living within this neighborhood. I really feel you get a lot of value in this particular community. A typical home here is going to run anywhere between $285,000 to $300,000 depending on upgrades. Okay, I saved the largest and probably the most ambitious new home community for last. I'm here at the massive Window Falls Master Plan community. I could literally do an entire video on just this one community alone because of literally tons of amenities and features present here. There are plans for 2 million square feet of current and planned shopping, dining, and entertainment options within the community. Right now I'm standing on one of 237 acres of parks and open space within the community. There are 10 miles of trails, pathways, an outdoor pool, there's a fitness facility, there's even a neighborhood cafe. There's gonna be future access to North Carolina's Mountains to Sea Trail. If you like an active or an inactive lifestyle, like in one of these hammocks, you'll really love the amenities located within Wendell Falls. You can literally step out your front door and have tons of open space, walking trails, it's totally awesome out here. I'm now here at the on-site farmhouse cafe where you can drop by, have a drink, have a bite to eat. Really an awesome area. The swimming pool is located right directly behind the farmhouse. 
This is a great open area, tons of walking space. Let's go check out the neighborhood and see some of the new homes. As of the production date of this video, there have been approximately 900 homes thus far completed within the Wendell Falls Master Plan community. Current plans call for approximately 4,000 homes to be eventually completed within Wendell Falls with 2 million square feet of commercial and retail space. Currently building within the Wendell Falls Master Plan community are six custom home builders. Capital City Homes, Fresh Paint by Garmin Homes, Homes by Dickerson, Garmin Homes, and Mattamy Homes. There is one townhome builder within the community, Dan Ryan Builders. With a community the size of Window Falls, you'll have no problem finding a home that fits your lifestyle. The townhomes built by Dan Ryan Builders start in the 220s. You can get a three bedroom, two and a half bath model that comes with a one car garage for a mortgage payment equal to or less than what you would normally pay for rent. If you're looking for a little more room to spread out, Fresh Paint by Gorman Homes offers three bedroom models that start in the 240s. Gorman Homes, Mattamy Homes, and David Weekly Homes are the builders that I would consider to be the middle of the road home builders within the community. Most of these builders are going to have homes that are going to start around the 280s and go up to the mid 300s. Homes by Dickerson, meanwhile, are going to range from the 330s all the way up to the 600s. If you're someone who's looking for true city life but living in a suburban setting, Wendell Falls is the type of community that you're really going to want to consider. David Weekly Homes recently announced a 55 plus community to be built within the Window Falls master plan community. What's going to be really neat about this area is the fact that it's a self-contained 55 plus area within the community which will offer single level energy efficient floor plans, a 24 hour state of the art fitness center, and all lawn maintenance included. Currently under development within Wendell Falls is a 35,000 square foot retail district to be known as Tree Light Square. Currently under construction within this Tree Light Square development is a brand new Publix grocery store, one of the area's first Publix locations. In addition to Publix, this area will contain a brand new Wake Med Health and Hospital location in addition to a Cardinal Charter Academy at Wendell Falls which is a tuition-free charter school. Future plans also call for a 288-unit apartment complex. In all, Tree Light Square will feature over 100 acres of commercial and retail space. If you have any questions about the Raleigh, North Carolina or Wendell areas, make sure you shoot me a text, email, or give me a call at 919-218-7525. I'm a Wake County native and realtor, and I get tons of questions all the time about what the best strategies are for buying and selling in the Raleigh, Wendell areas. As a bonus, today only, I have a free home buyer's guide. Just drop a comment below and I'll email it to you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, again, please hit the thumbs up button, give me a like. Make sure you leave a comment below. I'll be shooting many more of these local areas in the future, so drop a comment below if there's a particular area or neighborhood that you're interested in. Again, I'm Mike Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United. Thanks again for watching, and remember, get Mike, get moved.